from the 2023 and welcome to well we're going to start this year off with the with the video that i think is going to really set the tone for the rest of the year and my question to everybody is why are you so weak why are you so weak you know i spent a lot of time doing a lot of different things and the reality of it is is i'm never comfortable i'm always uncomfortable i've been uncomfortable for a long time i've been uncomfortable for years now and and it, it's done a lot of work in me to usher me to where i'm at now to where i'm growing for by the glory of god but what i've learned is most people are extremely weak weak in character weak in body weak in you know spirit just weak in a lot of dimensions and, and, and it's caused a lot of consternation, not just around me, but around everybody. So it brings me to the question, why are you so weak? You know, this is something that you need to ask yourself. I'm, 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 I'm postulating the question, but I'm, all, I'm actually, you know, su suggesting that you ask yourself, you know, this question. You know, I have to analyze myself on a daily basis. I push myself to go places and do things Every day for me personally is a massive push forward to get something done, you know, dealing with a, a massive amount of, un, you know, uncomfortability and still making sure to show up for others as much as I possibly can by the grace of God. And so after doing this for a few years, you kind of got to step back and say, OK, oh, everybody's not doing this. Oh, this looks like it's hard for everybody else to do when they're watching you. Oh, the way that you're carrying on seems like it's not um not the norm. Well, here's the thing, you know, and I, and I thank God for the way he's configured my mind to operate. But, you know, I'm not you know suggesting that I'm stronger than anybody else. Quite the contrary. You know, I don't I don't hold myself in such high regard and such esteem to think that I'm you know any better than anybody else. But I do know. You know, that God has created me for a purpose and I do know the purpose that he's created me for. And as I move closer towards that, it causes me to start to understand and to see things differently. I'm going to tell you, 2022 showed me quite a bit. You know, God opened my eyes in a lot of ways, but it wasn't so much about myself because, see, he's already been doing a lot of work on me massively for the past several years. 2022 was actually a time when he said, I need for you to stand still. And I need for you to look at everything else and watch me work on everyone else, you know, because, you know, I move pretty fast and I don't think that I move fast, but I actually move pretty fast, you know, and I thank God for that. But I move fast because I have a sense of urgency about everything that I do. But in moving fast, you start to understand that you're leaving people behind, even unintentionally, you know. You're always being first to the thing. You're, you know, you're the first to arrive. You're the first to the thing. You know, you're ahead of your time, which sounds great and everything. And it is at you know some points. But the reality of it is, is when you're first to a thing, that means you have a lot of heavy lifting to do. And that means that there's a lot that's not done. And you're actually preparing the way. Sounds great. But the reality of it is, is that's only for strong people. Let's just be honest. You cannot be first and be weak. So my question is, why are you so weak? You know, what I've come to realize, and I don't say this, you know, being antagonistic. I don't say this as, you know, putting anybody down. I'm saying this because we have to understand, you know, I had to, I had to challenge myself and check myself and look at myself and, you know, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about me. Okay. Just a little, you know, transparency, you know, start off 2023. I'm going to let you know what my greatest strength is. I'm going to let you know what my greatest weakness is, okay? And this is something that I've realized for a lot of years, and it's just proven to be true. It's proven to be very true, especially for me. This is, this is, my greatest strength is I don't quit. I don't quit. I don't even know how to quit. You know, it, it's hard for me to quit. When I actually quit something, it takes me a long time to quit something because I just don't know how to quit. I don't. That's my strength. OK, my greatest weakness is I don't know how to quit. <laughs> yep. My greatest strength and my greatest weakness are the same thing. I don't know how to quit. I don't know when I should quit. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, there's times when there, there's been things in my life throughout my whole life. I should have quit. I should have quit. Then I should have quit. Then I should have quit. Then I don't know how to quit. 
So that's also my greatest weakness. So that's just a little bit of me being transparent, you know, about my greatest weakness. So I'm seeking a balance on when and when not to quit because, you know, like I say, my greatest strength is I don't quit, you know, and at a time such as now, you know, God has really positioned me in a position to where it's, that strength is very necessary. It's very necessary, but I have to be aware. I have to be cognizant to, okay, now, you know, also with that being my greatest weakness, okay, now is this something over here that I need to quit? Is this something that I, so I need, so I'm, I'm aware. Okay, once I'm aware of it, I'm able to, you know, troubleshoot it. I'm able to handle it. I'm able to deal with it and operate it with it differently. Okay, so that's me. That's me. That's just a little transparency about me. But you have to ask yourself, why are you so weak? You know, and here's the thing. Don't, don't, don't. It's not about, it's not about, you know, you know, debasing yourself or anything like that. It's about being honest with yourself. We are in a culture. Let's understand some things about the culture. I'm talking about global world culture. This is an interesting time in the history of man, okay? Most needs are actually met. No matter if you're poor or rich, most needs are actually met. Case in point, you know, going back even, you know, a hundred years, a hundred years ago, I talked to my father about these things, you know, a hundred years ago, which a hundred years ago was 1923, okay? 1923, a hundred years ago, which is very interesting, but 1923 was a hundred years ago. The reality of it is, is there were a lot of needs that were met then that were not met in 1823, but yet and still, there were still a lot of things that were not met as far as needs go compared to 2023. Case in point, in 2023, no matter if you can hear this, if you can hear this, let's just, let's just stop right there. If you can hear, if you're hearing this video, if you're seeing this video, first and foremost, your needs are met far and be up far and beyond, you know, a lot of other people's needs in the world, because you actually have a device where you can hear this. You actually have a device. You actually have access to a device that allows you to hear this, which puts you, you know, whether you're poor, whether you're rich, puts you in, a, in you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a position of there's still billions of people in the world that still don't have access to internet. You know, now that's changing rapidly. Yes, it is. But just take that into mind. There's billions of people right now in the world that still don't have access to Internet, you know, but they will be in the near future. You know, so let's let's. So when we look at that, you know, most needs are met now than they ever than they ever were in, in, in the history of man. And I'm saying that because with all these needs being met, this is what breeds this weakness. Now, this is what this is what fosters, you know, the, the 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 weakness in character, the weakness in physical strength, the weakness in endurance. This is what fosters that, you know. Now, so I mean, maybe this 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 may sound a little harsh, you know. I don't know, you know. And to be honest with you, maybe it needs to, because the bottom line about it is, I know myself personally. Nobody I know can do what I do. Nobody, and there are a lot of people that I don't know that I know can't do what I do. Can't persevere how I persevere. Can't go where I go. Can't do what I do. You know, I asked a question to my associate the other day, you know, and it's a very interesting question because in, a, in, a, in a, I've gotten a lot of confirmation from a lot of other sources, sources even about this, you know, this, this question. But it's, you know, would you go to work for 10 years before you got your first paycheck? You know, that's a that's a hard question to 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 to, to answer any way other than no for most people. For me, not so much. You know what I'm saying? For me, not so much. And for other high achievers, not so much. Because the bottom line about it is, is if you believe in what you're doing, if you if you're you know strong in 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 and steadfast in what you're doing, it's a no brainer. You know, sure I'm I'm gonna keep showing up. I'm gonna keep showing up till I blow up. I'm gonna keep putting it in until I until and you know until the wheels fall off. You know, for real, for real. You know, so I'm saying all this because it's time for you to you know, I'm not even interested in the word challenge. It's not a challenge. It's time for you to make a decision. I'll put it like that. Say, well, it's time for you to make a decision. Why are you so weak? Time to analyze yourself. Why are you so weak? Why are you so weak? And you need to be aware of why you're so weak, you know, and start being aware of it on a daily basis and start, you know, saying, OK, you know, this is the way that I am. If this is the way that you are, OK, accept that. You know, accept that. Accept the position in which you're in. Accept it. If it's not, 
Start to work and effectively change the things that you need to change. Put a pen on paper, start diagramming, start, you know, start really looking at, okay, I'm weak in this area right here. You know, I'm aware of it. Okay, now let me start to analyze, why, you know, why I'm weak in this area. Is it something that I can strengthen? That's just the reality. Here's the thing. All the areas that you're weak in, some you can strengthen, some you might not be able to strengthen. Here's the thing, case in point, if you're five foot, if you're five feet and everything in your life is on a six foot shelf, okay, but you're five feet, okay, here's the reality, you know, what are you going to need to do? I'm going to need to get a step ladder, I'm going to need to get a ladder, I'm going to need to get a chair, I'm going to need to get something to get all these things off the, you know, that six on a six foot shelf. But in life, every place you go to is built for a six foot world. Guess what? There's some things you're just not going to be able to reach. Case in point, you're just not going to be able to reach everything. You're not going to be able to walk around with a step ladder in your hand everywhere you go. You're not going to be able to, you know, go everywhere. That's that's built because it's not built. You know, it's not built for you. It's not built for you. Everything is not. But there are a lot of things that you that you will be able to access and reach with the proper tools. So analyze that. Analyze that. You know, don't just accept it, but analyze it. So this is what we're tasked to do. You know, you have to ask yourself, why are you so weak? You know, I'm not asking you to tell me why you're weak. I'm asking you to tell you why you're weak. You know, I know where I'm weak at. I know where I'm deficient at. I know what I'm working on day to day. You know, I know what I'm pushing for day to day. I know what I get up and force myself to do on a day to day basis. You know, and so as we're starting off 2023, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. You do with it what you do with it. But I'm just saying. You know, me, myself, I keep pushing myself and I'm and I'm looking back. I'm like, oh, man, you know, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years. I'm like, these past 10 years have been like, woo, for me, you know, for real. I mean, I've had to push myself. I didn't know that there was this much pushing myself in the world to do. I pushed myself far out of my comfort zone. I have been uncomfortable. I've been uncomfortable for, let me see. I've been extremely uncomfortable for at least 11 to 12 years now. I'm talking extreme uncomfortable. I'm talking physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, financially. I've been extremely uncomfortable for about for about 11 years now. I mean, I'm talking extremely uncomfortable. I'm talking extremely uncomfortable. And I didn't know that I had to, to do this in order to break the paradigms that that were, you know, taught to me, taught to everybody else, you know what I'm saying, just in the culture that, you know, that we all live in and everything. And so to get back to what God created for me to be, I had to get uncomfortable and I had to remain uncomfortable and I'm still uncomfortable. I'm extremely uncomfortable. Even, even as I'm making this right now, I'm extremely uncomfortable, you know, but here's the thing. I have become very strengthened in my uncomfortability. You know, I'm uncomfortable, but here's the thing about my uncomfortability today. I'm healthier than I was. I'm further along than I was. I built more brand than I had. You know, I've, I've contacted, I've dealt with, I've impacted more people than ever in my life. You know, I positioned myself, you know, on a platform that is providing me the lift off I, you know, that I need in the 2023 and beyond, you know, in my uncomfortability. So, you know, I thank God for my uncomfortability. I thank God for, you know, putting me in a position to where took away my comfortability, forced me to deal with me, you know, forced me to look at me, forced me to handle me, forced me to come to the realization. OK, my greatest strength is I don't quit. My greatest weakness is I don't quit. OK, so I need to make sure that I stay aware. You know, are there times when I need to quit? OK, well, you know, be aware of it, James, you know, be focused on it and say, well, you know, is this one of those times? Is this one of those times? OK, weigh it out. Keep on pushing. Always pushing forward by the glory of God. You know, always pushing forward, always pushing forward constantly. No stop. No stop ever. You know, so I say, well, why are you so weak? Ask yourself the question, you know, really digest it. You know, don't 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 feel, you know, don't feel that this this that this video is something that 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 should offend you or or. Or maybe it should offend you. I don't know. You know, maybe it needs to be, you know, something needs to be woken up in you to say, why am I so weak? OK, but here's the thing. Take it to heart. Ask yourself. Check that thing. Take it. Work on it. You know, 
Stop trying to be comfortable. Stop trying to be comfortable. I'm going to tell you. And I'm saying this from the heart because here's the thing. I'm preparing you for a world that is no longer willing to accept those that are comfortable. No longer willing to accept weak people. God bless you. Let's start this year off right. Talk to you later. Well, I'll see you later.